Hi, my name is Devin Bartholomew. Today I'd like to talk about something that I experienced this semester and which took me completely by surprise. The story begins with a special podcast that I dreamed up and launched. It was called Titans. Titans was envisioned as a true history storytelling podcast about larger than life individuals. I was passionate about the subject, I had tons of episode ideas, and my partner was both enthusiastic and extremely talented. It was like I had set up a recipe for my own success. I couldn't have stacked the deck any better in my favor to set up for a fun and productive semester of production. Our first episodes turned out fabulously. Everything really was perfect. And then, strangely, I hit a wall. I had these ideas and these plans laid out, but every attempt that I made at scripting the subsequent episodes seemed embarrassingly bad. I stalled recording sessions with my partner, telling her not today, soon. Don't worry. But nothing seemed to stick, and it became almost impossible to write anything at all. Still, I kept my worries quiet, certain that I could work out my problems, but they were growing bigger. My grades began to suffer across all my classes. I had trouble sleeping. The possibility of depression crossed my mind plenty of times, but I dismissed it. I couldn't have depression. My life was good. No money troubles, an awesome girlfriend I planned to marry. There was simply no good reason. And then I read this quote on Twitter. I didn't want to wake up. I was having a much better time asleep. It was almost like a reverse nightmare. Like when you wake up from a nightmare, you're so relieved. I woke up into a nightmare. Understanding came all at once. I'd stayed in bed wide awake to skip classes more than once by then. This guy was describing me, and he was talking about depression. Still, I withdrew further, determined to muscle through it on my own steam. I fell further and further behind in everything. School, work, my relationship, my social life. I turtled right up and watched it get smaller and smaller in the distance. I let it go. The solution was within me, I thought. I could overcome this. It would just take effort. I handled it wrong. I wish I could have seen it sooner, but at the end of the day, I'm just grateful that I realized this simply couldn't go on. Something had to be done, an intervention. An intervention requires other people. As I revealed what had been going on to various professors, I realized how wrong I had been to believe the lies I had told myself. I met with no judgment, only empathy, mercy, compassion, and a real desire to help me. Jeffrey R. Holland has taught that when our mental health falters, we should seek the advice of reputable people with certified training, professional skills, and good values. And we should be honest with them about our history and our struggles. I have recently begun seeing a mental health counselor. What I have consistently found is this. People care, and depression becomes easier to grapple with the more open I am about it. In a real, tangible way, I can fight it better just by knowing that others understand what I'm going through. All it took was for me to talk about it. Trying to conceal your depression is not only unhealthy, it is probably impossible. Most everyone recognized that I was struggling with something and had begun to worry about me. But what could they do if I kept avoiding them? What could anyone do? I revealed my struggle too late to be able to resume work on Titans, however much I might have wished to. But some things are more important than your grades or your pet projects. Almost everyone has been affected by depression somehow. Being mentally healthy and happy should be our priority. I have also learned that I have a tendency when a difficult issue arises to postpone the confrontation, skip class, ignore that text message, wait until the last day to file taxes. By being aware of this tendency, I can work to combat it and avert potentially disastrous consequences. It's unlikely that I'm alone in this struggle. Even in this small class, BYU is a demanding environment. The weight of expectation, both internal and external, is great. And that's not a bad thing, but we should be cognizant of our mental health and our own warning signs. Yes, I have struggled with depression this semester. Yes, my grades in some of my classes have suffered, and I even made the decision to withdraw from one of them. That can be a scary thing, but my faith and my hope is defined by optimism for the future. I believe in a God who provides, a God who sees our struggles and our efforts and who makes arrangements for our future even when we stumble. I believe that it has all been accounted for. That's what my life has really shown me these 25 years. It will be all right, and what more can we ask for? I conclude with this final statement. Please don't give up. Whatever befalls you, hold on to hope. Share your burden with those who care and are willing to care. Your future will be brighter. 
please stay. Thank you.